Hello, Steve White, Steve White's 89. Um, I did a video the other day about um, the announcement, like a few days ago, the, the, there was a message basically that uh, some people put on, I think Instagram, uh, saying that they were going to be doing a Madonna documentary, Madam X documentary on Netflix. And this got a lot of press, people got all excited, but there was nothing else about it that I could find. And people were saying that, there, that it was just fake, there was no, it was removed apparently, and then there was no other um, information. So people started to think that it was just a rumour. Um, and then today, I saw this on Madonna News, um, which was from, I think it was The Sun, which apparently is not the greatest source of information. I don't even know what The Sun is. Um, I guess it's a uh, like a tabloid-style paper in the US or something. I'm not sure. I had to some music on that. Um, <sighs> Exclusive, Madonna set to release Netflix documentary with footage from Madame X tour. This year she's bringing her antics to Netflix and has signed a deal with the streaming giant to broadcast a documentary giving a glimpse into her superstar life. The one-off special will feature extensive footage from her Madame X tour, which ended last March in 2020, as well as behind-the-scenes clips of the singer in action. Um, so that sounds like... Because my confusion is, what format is this going to be? Is this going to be like, I'm going to tell you a secret and truth or dare, where it's documentary, 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 a little bit of footage, documentary, documentary, a little bit of footage, or is it going to be like some of the other specials where it's like most of the concert and then just a few little backstage bits here and there, sort of in between. Um, this, I feel like this reads both ways. Uh, and of course my phone switched off in the middle, okay. Okay, yep. But it certainly won't be all smiles, as it also is expected to feature scenes of the superstar struggling with hip and knee injuries, which caused her to act several shows during the tour, like 20. Um, it will come 30 years after the groundbreaking documentary Truth or Dare chronicling her life during the Blonde Ambition to World Tour, which at the time was the highest grossing documentary ever made until um, Michael Moore's Bowling for Columbine, which she didn't take too personally, because she, she likes him. Um, but yeah, she held that for a while. It was nice. Uh, a source said Madonna, a source, a source said Madonna quite literally put blood, sweat, and tears into the Madame X tour, and she wants this documentary to show it off for the spectacle that it was. Okay, I don't think it was that spectacular from what I saw. Um, she and I know people are like, how dare you say that? But when you compare it to the other tours, it was a smaller formatted theatre tour that was meant to be that way. It was meant to be cheaper, so. You didn't have all the issues that you would have with a full-on stadium or arena tour. Um, okay. <laughs> She's never been the type to fade into the background, so viewers will definitely get to witness her dry sense of humour. She has spent weeks watching previews and helping to edit the footage at home in the US and is very hands-on with it. Uh, the corresponding Madame X album went to number two and became the 22nd top 10 al her 22nd top, al top 10 album. <laughs> when it was released in 2019. Her 75 tour, date tour, included intimate venues in 10 cities, and I'm not sure if that's the final count or the original count, because like a lot got cancelled, some got rescheduled. Um, but this doesn't make sense to me. That clever trick remains the, that clever trick means the documentary will be the only way to see footage from the show. Um, Madonna has released DVDs of her last few tours, but given that's an outdated format now, says who, uh, this feels like a good move for her. Gaga, Beyonce, all the others have basically um, done documentaries on Netflix in the past with great results, and apparently she's supposed to follow them like a lemming. If anyone has proved they're still, they've still got the shock factor as an entertainer, it's Madonna, and I'm sure this special will be no, expectation, no exception. God, I'm bad at reading articles, that's why I don't do it. Um, I get stage fright and I just forget what I'm looking at. Um, like anyone's watching. Um, sorry, people who are, you're very valuable to me. <laughs> um, I'm an idiot. It's okay. Um, yeah, so this this is confusing to me because it reads like they're doing a documentary with just some music video included, like some concert footage included, like Truth or Dare and I'm Going to Tell You a Secret. But at the same time, it also reads like it's going to be the concert with um, backstage footage sort of included. So what is it? And no, we don't want a hybrid. We want 
a straight documentary or the concert or both. Perhaps give us both. How about a two disc edition with the concert and the documentary and you can put both on streaming and people can watch the concert if they want to watch the, her art and music or if they want to watch the gossip and the tea then they can watch the documentary. But trying to put them together it does feel like kind of trying to blackmail people into watching the documentary in order to see the video footage because most people just want to see Madonna perform. They don't really care about her, her personally and that lack of relevance now in her 60s is probably grating on her a little bit. She wants to, I think she wants to you know, sort of have that same power and effect that she had when she released Truthful Dare, but she's not going to ever again. It's not going to happen. That was mostly bought by record companies, and that's just how the industry works. And she's no longer their darling. She's aged out. They don't care about her. It's, I'm not saying that's fair, but that's the situation that she's in. So trying to blackmail us into watching a documentary we don't want to watch just to see three or four songs from Madame X, and what we really want is the Madame X performance with a documentary or special feature included on our on a DVD that we can own. Because here's here's the problem with streaming. Streaming's been around long enough. I mean, if, if this person's saying DVDs and Blu-rays and physical um, media are outdated, as as the standard norm that, you know, people who don't care about content, you know, what they view, yeah, it has. People usually stream because they're just looking for entertainment in the moment. They're, they're not looking to collect or keep something or preserve something. But people who are, people who do collect films and TV shows and documentaries and concerts and music, they want to be able to have their own copy that no one else can touch because what we've discovered is streaming, with streaming is it's, it's not consistent. Um, if a streaming service closes, even if you bought films, you lose them. Um, if a streaming service loses a contract, the content's gone, you can't watch it anymore. It doesn't matter if you keep paying you know, to use their service, they don't own the content. They don't own the, own the access to the content anymore. So you can't watch Madonna anymore if Madonna has taken her music to another place or they just don't want it anymore. So no one's paying for it. A lot of things just slip off streaming and disappear because no one wants to pay for them because they've had their views and no one cares. Um, this is a harsh reality. Whereas if you buy the DVD, you buy the Blu-ray, you download it, you know, you have it forever as long as you maintain it. Um, you don't own that, but you have you own own the the the, the physical media that you have access to forever. Um, so I, I really don't like the idea of Madonna doing this again. This will be the third time she's done this to fans. When she did Truth or Dare, in fairness, um, Blonde Ambition was available. It was shown on TV and it was um, available on Laserdisc, and that apparently was the format of the future didn't quite go that way and it wasn't allowed to be released on DVD so we didn't get access to it. Now people copied the, the um, Laserdisc, uh, it was released on video in Japan, a different version, people copied that as well. So there's always bootlegs, you always were able to see it and a lot of people taped it when it was on TV, when it was shown on HBO or shown um, around Europe. I mean I, I, my brother uh, videoed um, it and gave it to me like after the fact he did an awful job, left in all the commercials, had five minutes of commercials at the start of the video, but I had the concert, I got to watch it um, like when I was growing up, it was, it was, it was great. Um, but that's, that's how we had to, you know, that's how we had to view Blonde Ambition. Now I'm going to tell you a secret and the reinvention tour was a bit different. We kind of saw it coming. We were like, oh, is this going to be like Truth or Dare? Are we not going to? And then we were promised, no, 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 you're going to get the concert and the documentary. But then the, the, the documentary was the only thing that showed up. The concert never showed up. Apparently, there were rumours that um, CBS or one of the this TV stations had bought it and then they were shelving it because they didn't want it to be seen because they were um, they objected to Madonna's political stance on, on the war um, and all the, the, the content from American Life that was in the tour and that they were basically censoring her by buying the rights to it and then not basically showing it or allowing it to be released. Um, whether that's permanent or for a set time or, or for certain releases or whatever, I don't know. I never really investigated whether that was true or not. That's just what I heard at the time and it was going around for a while. Um, the other rumour I've heard is that she started to produce it but she wasn't happy with um, the production team and the filming so she didn't continue and um, there were a couple of very basic bare bones releases of the video which looks just like the video that you'd get on the screens at the concert just basic footage and it wasn't like a final edit. Some fan edits have been done of it um, and I'm okay with it. I don't mind just sitting the camera on the scene and letting um, the choreography and the performance speak for itself. I don't need 
you know, a, a, an edit every two seconds to make it look like a music video or a film. Theatre, you know, um, which is basically what Madonna's concerts are, is different. You don't need that. So there are a lot of bootleg copies of that, so fans sort of have access to it, but not officially. And sh so, uh, just please, God, don't do this again, Madonna. Do not take another concert and limit it to a couple of songs in a documentary, so that's all we see. And the worst part about reinvention was they edited the songs. So you don't even get the full version of the song. You get like a chopped up version of the song, which is like a minute or 30 seconds shorter than the original, um, to basically make more room for the documentary. When most people care more about the, the, the concert than the documentary. And when you want us to choose, we're going to prefer the concert. So you may as well just do both. So I'm a bit worried. I don't know if this is, she's doing a documentary for YouTube rather, I mean YouTube, for streaming for um, Netflix rather than just doing like a special feature. But it could be a special feature on a DVD or Blu-ray's release as well, or it could be its own release. She did talk about Rebel Heart being a two-disc um, release, that you're going to have a documentary and the concert, but it looks like she didn't get the funding for it, so they just took the HBO version that was already edited and they just whacked it on a DVD. Um, there was talk about they filmed um, the Tears of a Clown special that I was at, um, and they were going to release that as a separate release as well. That never got released. They just threw a couple of bits and pieces of it on the DVD as a very cheap special feature. Um, I mean, Madonna doesn't pay for anything. She expects other people to invest in her, and if people don't want to pay her to create content for a DVD release and then produce the DVD release, it's not going to happen because she's not going to pay to do it. She's not going to pay. She's not going to invest in herself. I think she should. I think at this stage, Dolly Parton did it. No one wanted her. Um, no one would give her a contract because of her age and just prejudice and ageism. And she said, "F you all." She went and recorded her own album, produced it herself, put it out. It was huge. She did a huge world tour. She is kicking A all around the world, and she's a boss, and she's in charge of it all. Madonna needs to do that. She needs to change her format. Being a little record label darling is 20 years beyond her. Um, that's wrong. They only want young kids that they can market to young kids. They don't understand what she wants, what she's trying to do, what the fans want, what they're trying to do. She needs to just... Find some investors, I guess, that believe in her, create her own t content, her own, produce her own things, and get away from the old model. Seriously. But, um, dear God, don't do this to us again. I, I, as much as I would like a documentary on the film, a proper 90 minute to two hour documentary on the tour, um, I don't want it at the expense of the actual performance. Because once you know what happens backstage, you, aside from Truth or Dare, which was, um, magic, um, the other, the other documentaries, you're not going to watch them 50 times. I haven't watched. I'm going to tell you a secret for 10 years. I just haven't. I know what happens in it. I don't care. Um, Truth or Dare, I watch regularly because it's, 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 it's iconic. Um, and the same is going to happen with Madame X. We'll watch it once, we'll watch it twice, we'll forget about it, and then we'll be gradually put it on every time we want to watch the, the, the production level footage of the concert. Um, now, maybe that'll work for streaming. She'll get lots of extra views. It'll look good. They might pay her to do something else for the channel. But manipulating the fans and manipulating the performance like that, um, and the content like that, I, it's just, it's, it, it's, <laughs> it's basically, it's good for the Netflix, it's good for the Madonna, it's not good for the fans. So I'm not happy. Um, but then again, this is all still rumour, we don't know what the final release or releases are going to be. Maybe we'll get a special edition DVD Blu-ray with a bunch of fancy stuff from some small investing boutique company, and then we'll get the mainstream Netflix documentary, which merges the two. There should be options here. She should be just filling all the holes and all the pies, but um, she's too busy taking photos on the toilet and um, getting tattoos of her boyfriend. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm concerned about her career in general. A lot of fans are, and you say that, and you're a hater, you're a hater. No, we've just been around long enough to see the difference between Madonna 10, 15, 20 years ago and Madonna now. And it is a worry. And part of it is like, well, she's, she doesn't need to care anymore. She's, she's a legend. I think she's finally realised, oh, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to produce any new albums. I don't have, any, have to have any new number ones. People are still going to want me on TV shows. They're still going to want... I'm, I'm relevant because I'm Madonna. I don't need to keep, you know, doing tricks. So maybe she may actually calm down a bit and just focus on creating art that interests her um, and making it available in meaningful ways to her fans rather than just trying to chase that, you know, record label, generic pop star sort of model. But, um, I'm rambling now. It's been 14 minutes. 
But um, yeah, uh, this has been the longest freaking wait. Um, <laughs> Truthful Dare was before my time, and um, I had it on video, it wasn't an issue. Reinvention was like a little bit of waiting and then disappointment, but this has been over a year of waiting, and I'm afraid it's leading to disappointment. So I guess I'm going to cap off at 15 minutes, and I just hope she says something because she's talked about editing but only editing the concert not a documentary um but there was talk of her going to netflix and signing something a while ago and that she was the talk was she was going to do a documentary so is this it is it just about the tour or is it a documentary in general about her oh my god so no speculation i'm just going to stop uh feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think do you agree with anything do you have any insight what do you think is going to happen I just want it I just want it to be over, I want it to be released and enjoy it. Instead of speculate about it. Thanks, bye.